What's up everyone, this is Cyberknight 8610 and today we're going to be opening up the uh, April uh, 2017 issue of V Jump Magazine. So yeah, as you guys can see here, of course, there is a Yu-Gi-Oh! promo card in this magazine. Thought it'd be fun to get this issue for that reason. It has uh, DDD uh, Flame Emperor Executive Genghis as the promo card, so I don't know when we're going to get that card in English. Uh, at the time of this video, the time of recording at least, uh, we don't have any info on that. I'm kind of wondering if it might be like throwing a code the Duelist though, since uh, we're getting like the Synchro in that one, and I think the XC is some other promo or something like that. I'm trying to remember uh, when they all come out. So maybe they'll kind of all be uh, together in Code the Duelist is what I'm hoping for. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and got this just because first off it has Yu-Gi-Oh characters on the front of it. We have uh, Yu-Ya in as many different forms. Uh, Yu-Go, Yuri, and uh, Yuto on the front. And uh, I want to get that promo card. So let's go on ahead and uh, go through this. There we go. First off, different advertisements was this Monster Hunter. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully that comes out in English too. That The new Monster Hunter thing has like new content in it and everything. See, what else do we have here? Some info on Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon Ball Super, I should say. I, I'm still used to calling it Dragon Ball Z. Anyone else do that? I know it's changed now and it's officially Dragon Ball Super, but yeah. <laughs> it just throws me off. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. All kinds of cool little advertisements in this. I always like looking through these anyway. It's just kind of fun. A little Dragon Ball uh, Heroes uh, Ultimate Mission. That's like the little like, dual terminal game they have over there. I was hoping they'd have a new promo card in it for them because I've been collecting those, but it doesn't look like it. Kid Buu, like a new form to him as well, and Deborah. So it's pretty interesting. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Different characters that we're getting. Uh, Bojack, some of his different uh, henchmen, I think, are in this. And I think Bojack right now is uh, where you can download him in it, if I remember correctly. Some figures of Android uh, 18 and 17. You might need to get those. Those look pretty cool. Different gods. I don't know if you guys have seen that. The Gods of Destruction. That's kind of cool. I forgot that it was actually in this issue that they revealed that. And then, of course, there's a manga. I'm not going to flip through all that because, obviously, I'm trying not to do any kind of spoilers on uh, the manga for you guys. Mainly, I know you guys want to see the info on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! So we have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains info on the new anime. There is, like, a little thing right there. And some different cards are from Stardeck and everything, like Decode Talker and Cyber Dragon and stuff, too. It's pretty neat looking. And then even, yeah, this is going over our new rules. So yeah, this was the magazine that did all that, where we finally knew the info about Link Summoning and everything. That's pretty cool. So that's what all that looks like, I guess. You know, we talked about this already many times. You guys know probably Link Summoning by now, or, or have an understanding, at least, on it. There's new cards, everything there, some of our new Link Monsters. I still love the Gaia version of that, just because, I mean... Because, I mean, he just looks awesome. And, uh, let's see, there's our different versions of the DDD monsters. There's the Synchro, there's the XC. Like I said, I believe the Synchro is in Code the Duelist, and I'm not sure if the XC is or not. He might be, because this is all supposed to be Code the Duelist stuff. Where's our promo card, though? Eglo Smasher from the Structure Deck. We have that now. Different things, and there's our promo card. Okay. Of course, here's the main thing I wanted to get from this magazine. And, well, the magazine's probably going to close. There, I'm just going to do it like that, so I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, here's our promo card, and it is a DDD Flame Emperor Executive Genghis. Like I said before, it is a uh, level 8 Fiend Fire Fusion Monster, uh, 2800 attack, 2400 defense, and uh, it requires uh, one level 5 or higher DD monster and one DD uh, monster to fuse into it. Anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and read off its effect, too, because I have my computer next to me. I can't read Japanese, obviously, so here we go. If another uh, DD monster is normal or special summoned to your field while you control this face-up card except during the damage step, you can target one DD monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use uh, this effect of uh, DDD Flame Emperor Executive Genghis once per turn. Once per turn during your turn, uh, when a, a spell or trap card effect is activated, you can negate the activation. This is a quick effect. So yeah, this is a great new addition for DDDs. I mean, I kind of hope we get this before Link Summoning, just because, I mean, obviously anything that involves pendulums, you know, DDD monsters, all of them are, are better without Link Summoning, you know, before that all happens. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's still an amazing card. It's an amazing new fusion monster for them. And like I said, I just want to get this card just because look at it. I mean, it just looks amazing. And I think DDDs are probably my favorite archetype from Arc 5. I think they're like the best thing we got from it. So, so, I uh, definitely look forward to finally getting these cards in English, and, uh, I mean, it's a great card no matter. Even with Link Summoning and everything, I still feel like DDDs aren't going to give up without a fight. Like, maybe they'll even get a Link Monster or something. Who knows? <laughs> I'm still kind of wondering what else is going to happen on that. But yeah, let's go ahead and flip through some of the rest of the magazine. There's kind of like a preview of the next promo, by the way. I'm going to do an opening on that, too. Was that Cyverse Gadget, if I remember correctly? I think that's right. And the other Cyverse cards and everything, too. Let's see, there's the manga. I'm going to kind of flip past that, because, again, I'm trying to spoil anything for you guys. There's like the guidebook, which has, uh, yeah, that's another one of our number monsters. The other forms like of uh, Utopia and uh, a new uh, Raid Raptor. 
I believe, if I remember correctly. You know, again, it does, it's not in English, so obviously it's hard for me to know. I'll try to get that book, by the way, to an opening on. I don't know if it's out yet or not. I need to double check. Nintendo Switch? Anyone out there got a Nintendo Switch already? I have one. Uh, same username as always, Cyber610. I don't know if... I, I think I actually need to give up my friend code, don't I? I have no idea what that is. Maybe I'll include that in some video or something. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing that a lot. Of course, playing Legend of Zelda. Hope we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! game on that system. That'd be awesome. There's some stuff for One Piece. And, uh, Boruto. Wondering if there's any other cards in this. I'm not really seeing anything else. There's Legend of Zelda. That's kind of cool seeing an advertisement for it in Japanese. Uh, what else do we have here? Some Digimon figures or something. Or it looks... Oh, maybe it's a game. It's from the game. Okay, that kind of looked like a figure to me for some reason. I was hoping it was. <laughs> I, I collect a lot of Digimon figures, so I want more of them to come out. Do we have anything else? Doesn't really look like there's any other cards or anything in this, but... Uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this opening, if you enjoyed it or not. I know a lot of you enjoy these different openings anyway, it's just kind of something that's kind of random. And, uh, of course, getting a Yu-Gi-Oh! promo card is always awesome, too, especially before we get them over here in the USA. And like I said, too, this more likely won't be a promo card for us in, like, a magazine, obviously. It'll probably end up being something that'll be thrown like, Code the Duelist or something. That'd be my best guess, especially since the Synchro was in there. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think and what set you think we'll get this card in. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, it helps out a ton. Leave a comment, tell me the openings you guys want to see in the future and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and other Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya!